women didn't start dressing all that differently until the Middle Ages, and in fact, women's wardrobes have dudes to thank for a lot of common items we find in our closets. Finger guns. Pow, pow, pow. Fashion fact, men were the first to wear high heels. Early as the 10th century, men were wearing heels to help them stay in stirrups while riding horseback. Fast forward to the court of Louis XIV, who famously loved his red-soled heels, and upper-class women were also wearing these kinds of shoes, although with thinner, more ladylike heels compared to the boxier styles favored by men of the day. BOGO SALE! In the 16th century, men began wearing wigs to cover up bald spots brought on by massive syphilis outbreaks going around. But in 1655, when high heel loving King Louis XIV of France also began wearing a wig to cover up his bald spots, and a few years later when King Charles II of England began sporting a wig to cover up his graying hair, aristocratic gentlemen took note! Wigs were also quite helpful for keeping lice at bay! Soon enough, all the well-to-do dudes were sporting big, curly, long-haired wigs that could even put Connie Britton's hair to shame. Sorry, Connie. I've never felt so manly before. Although 17th century men sometimes accessorized their big wigs with ribbons and bows, it wasn't until the following century that hair bows became more of a masculine fashion staple. This largely happened because King Louis XV decreed smaller wigs to be more appropriate for men, and they were often tied back into adorable curly ponytails or pigtails affixed with large hair bows. Who's a real man now? Women of the day also wore bows in their hair, but they were usually smaller and more subtle than men's more statement bows of the time. It was a real pro-bow era. Even though some guys today like to joke about women and their hair handbag obsessions. Guys were the first ones to carry primitive purses around. Going back to the 12th century, as men were likelier to leave the home and travel, they usually carried around drawstring leather pouches filled with coins, sometimes letters, and other personal effects. Of course, other people on the road would also want their coins, so their purses would be nestled next to a dagger or knife. Because there was no yield mace. What's inside my purse? A friend? Scrunchy? My favorite eye patch. Perfect. My medal of honor. A rose in case I meet a maiden. My one indispensable tool. An old blackberry. Hello? Modern ladies be loving some leggings, which were in fact first designed for man legs. As evidenced by King Henry VIII, by the 16th century, men's skirts and doublets had grown so short they needed something to cover up their sexy man gams. Initially, they wore unattached stockings or tights on each leg that they would then tie with ribbons to their undergarments, but then finally, some enterprising tailor was like, let's sew the whole thing together toss in a cod piece, and we've got some mighty masculine man leggings. Also makes for a fun head accessory. Which would eventually evolve into modern day pants, starting with the sans coulee of the French Revolution. Eh, huh? Jared, I told you, my, my wig is not to cover up syphilis balding, it's to cover up lice balding. 